This is something that they can do for their children right now. And to have this available for them to come and benefit their child today is amazing. And that's something that I don't want anyone to miss out on. And that's such a gift that we've been given. About a year ago, Mary Morris and her family from Phoenix, Arizona, traveled to the bardet Beetle Syndrome Center of Excellence at Marshfield Clinic for the first appointment scheduled exclusively for those with BBS. The Morris family has two daughters with BBS, and like many families with the disease, had trouble finding quality health care. It means so much to us to be able to bring our girls here and not have to explain to every single doctor every single time what Bardet Beetle Syndrome is. Tyler West is the fun-loving son of Tim and Donna West of Georgia. Their BBS story is common. Well, he was born with extra digits, um, so the doctors pretty much said that it was unrelated to anything else. And then um, he started gaining weight very rapidly as a baby and not making great eye contact. So I did a Google search and um, Barty Beetle started popping up everywhere. When we go to the doctors in Atlanta, it's very disconnected. Um, yeah, the doctors are good, but obviously they don't specialize in BBS. Dr. Robert Hawes is the medical director of the Center of Excellence for the Treatment of BBS. He's studied the disease for more than 20 years and spent over a year developing the clinic's concept. He understands the frustration. And a passion is developed because those families so often express the frustration that they get care from physicians that don't know anything about their child's condition. And oftentimes the, child, the, the care is fragmented, so they see a, a kidney specialist, and they see a heart specialist, but those two doctors don't communicate, and they really don't know where they should go for the child's care. And so that's evolved in this desire to have a center where we can have children come from all across, across the country and get the best care possible by doctors who know what Bardet Beetle Syndrome is, they understand it, they've seen lots of other children with it, and they can provide great care and, and work with the doctors back at home so that those doctors know exactly what the device means and how we, they can apply it to the care for that child. The clinic itself is a chance to get a complete head-to-toe workover of her in one place. We can get it all done in one or two or three days. It's just fantastic. and You just can't get that anywhere right now for her disorder. Like the Morrises and the Lambs, Bill and Bonnie Alms from Hudson, Wisconsin, brought their son Everett to the first BBS clinic at Marshfield Clinic. I mean, the coordination was just incredible. We had carefully planned out schedules of our appointments, when they were and what time. And if things needed to be changed, she got an updated one to us later that day or whenever there was a change, she would move things around or we decided at the last minute, hey, you know, we actually decided we did want him to have that MRI even though before we said we didn't. Okay, um, here's a new schedule. <laughs> Throughout the three to four day schedule of appointments, BBS families interact with healthcare providers specializing in pediatric and adult audiology, cardiology, endocrinology, gastroenterology, medical genetics, nephrology, Neurology, Neuropsychology, Nutrition, Ophthalmology, Otolaryngology, Physical Medicine, Physical and Occupational Therapy, Psychology, Sleep Medicine, Speech Therapy. This was the first time we had providers, when, when we would talk about an issue I've ever heard in any provider visit, you know, I was doing some research on BBS with, with that and came across that, so I'm glad you mentioned it. Or to actually have providers who have looked into the BBS research with respect to their area of expertise is, it's impressive. Um, it should be the standard of care everywhere, but it's not. Um, it's the standard of care here. Marshall Clinic is unique, unique from any other center I've ever worked at. Marshall Clinic offers specialists that work together. It's a community of providers. It's also a group of providers who are very academically oriented, but very patient oriented. They want to provide care for patients. And because of that, we can bring those people together into a multidisciplinary clinic and they'll sacrifice their time to make it possible for this to happen. It's a busy schedule designed exclusively for the individual families, but there's also time for networking, socialization, and fun. 
someone will have arranged um, a dinner for us and be a local restaurant catering while we listen to a talk from um, maybe a psychologist or or a talk from somebody and then at those times too what was really great is that uh, at least at least once what they did is they got the parents together and they took all the kids off to do um, sensory. sensory room, right. Yeah. Oh my God, and they loved it so much. And the clinic's responsibility to care for BBS families is not over at the end of the week. At the end, we got this packet with every appointment, all the information, all in one, one all in one fell swoop, all, all in the one labs, packet. All the summary reports from every visit we saw, everything. We are just so, so thankful that this place is here. It really is an answered prayer for us. The people here are, I don't know if it's a Wisconsin thing or not, <laughs> but the people here have all been so nice and just, Friendly it's, and, it's been yeah. a pleasure, really. These physicians really care. And we came away with the feeling that we were cared about and that they, they care about our kids and they care about what's best for them. And I think that that's the most important thing for you to know that this is the continuity of care that we need, that we can take home to our home physicians to make sure that our child is receiving everything that they need to have a healthy and happy life.